Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes Chuck here. Uh, 10 listings, and I'm hoping that <laughs> I'll get the video out earlier than I did yesterday, which went out at about 11 p.m. Uh, 10 properties today, including a bank sale, and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. Well, what do you know? The time is upon us. Here's the bank sale, 1170 Bernard, uh, 399. It is, it looks like a, uh, a small, an Ashbury uh, or Cherrywood, 1051 square feet. It's around the price that uh, that they've been selling for. I don't know much about it. There's no pictures. Uh, so bank sale, what happens? The owner gets behind on payments. Even as quick as 15 days, the bank can start the process of what we call a power of sale in Canada. Different than a foreclosure. So a foreclosure in the US, the bank is going for the rights to the house, including all of the equity. We're different in Canada. It's a faster process called power of sale. And what the bank does is they say, we're gonna sell the home and we're gonna take what's owed. So in other words, real estate fees, uh, outstanding taxes, anything like that, uh, any mortgage interest, penalties, whatever else is there, they're gonna take all that. And if there's anything left, they give it to the owner. And uh, one of the requirements is that the bank has to prove that they held out for fair value for the house. Otherwise there's an appeal process too. So uh, what that means is it's not always the great deal that people think they are. We have people asking us, hey, do you have access to bank sales? Yeah, we do. But first of all, there's not many of them. And second of all, I haven't seen many that are good deals. Uh, when they are, they usually require a fair bit of work, which you can find anyway on the market too. So I don't think there's anything unique or special or different about them, uh, but agents love to dangle that little nugget out there and see uh, which buyers bite on them. What buyers who respond to that usually want is a good deal. And, and of course, that's what we're looking for uh, when we help someone as a buyer. So uh, anyway, uh, it's not all good, but it's not all bad too. So there's usually uh, a schedule that the bank puts in, or the lender, I should say, that says there's a couple things. Number one, if there's any problems after closing or anything else, it so guess what, buyer beware. So there's no warranties, nothing, uh, which is different than if you buy a non-bank sale, which which you still have some recourse if there's something that's wrong. Second thing, if the owner comes up with the money that they're owing, usually there's a clause in the schedule indicating that the, uh, the, the deal is canceled. And so you could buy a home like this and it doesn't happen often, but if the owner does come up with the money a week before closing, they can say, sorry, deal's off. And that's a bit of a risk too, especially if you've given notice or if you've already sold your house. This is obviously a first time buyer's house, so I think it's more common that you've given notice to your landlord uh, that you're getting out of it. So uh, same as anything else, you've got to make sure you do your due diligence. You've got to know the values and make sure you're not overpaying for something like this. But uh, they're not the uh, the golden opportunity that a lot of people think they are. And I've sold them for the bank, too. So I've seen both sides of the equation. Barclay looks like a pretty good deal. $4.99 is the price. Uh, I think they're holding back on offers for uh, a week. So we've got March 29th. Good looking floors, nice kitchen, a uh, bit of a deck in the back. Doesn't get a lot of value. I mean, any landscaping, we're talking about maybe 20 cents on the dollar that you actually get back on average. Uh, three bedrooms upstairs. There's two full bathrooms. The master ensuite just has a shower and no tub. And... Uh, Got a finished basement here too. So the precedents for these have been floating anywhere from about 505 to 515 uh, for something of similar quality. And I think these guys will be about the same. You can see it's hard to tell in the pictures. Sometimes I open the virtual tour up, but the roof looks a little bit ragged in the picture. And it is around that time where a lot of the homes in this area have, have started to replace the roof. So work that into your budget because once you put a roof on, the return on that investment is very low. So Lot Crescent's the next one up, 649. And I don't really understand the, the thought process when a home, the same model on the same street with the same features, including backing onto green space, has sold for under 600,000. And I don't understand the connection there where a, a seller of a home like this would say, I know what we'll do. We'll list at 650. It doesn't make sense to me when when there's a home like a couple doors down that's almost the same as yours uh, just sold for more than fifty thousand dollars less 
Anyway, they can try, and I'm sure they'll uh, they'll learn quickly that the marketplace is uh, is educated, and buyers are comparison shoppers. And I don't think there's anything that would justify a price like this. Um, they're nice homes. People paid probably more than than fair market value for these homes uh, when they were first built from the builder, and luckily the market has uh, improved. They're nice, there's nothing wrong with them, but I just think that uh, the comparison method uh, starts to fail when you look at this price compared to the last sale on the street. So what I said on Lot Crescent probably applies to Bartleman and uh, McFerrin as well. So uh, wet offer is 1.189, and I think when you're playing in this price range, first of all, we've talked many times in daily homes, what you need to break a million is to have privacy. And so they have this one here, it looks like they have a pie-shaped lot. Uh, so 50 in the front, 59 in the back, uh, nice views, great deck. This is one of my favorite floor plans. I believe it's a red cedar. You can see from this rotunda breakfast area, upstairs it's the access point for all the things in the master bedroom. It's got a nice floor plan, but I just, the pictures aren't doing it. And if you don't impress people online, they're not going to want to come and see it in person. That's the, the round area up in the uh, the master bedroom. I don't know, finished basement, walk out, like I get it. Um, but I think they could have done a way better job presenting this one. And you gotta play, you gotta bring your A game in this range because if this sells for anywhere near this price, it's probably in the top 10 sales ever in Milton. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Good photos do not cost that much. I don't get it. So there's the list, 10 listings. I hope I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter, am I? There's no silver lining here. I'm a happy person, but come on. Like we gotta, we gotta step our games up. Uh, a, a good A market is no excuse for C effort. And that's the thought I'll leave you with. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.